did my manager mention I'll be conducting this interview through my intermediary? I have a terrible memory, so this will be good. Well, that's been an uphill struggle, to say the least. I was the only one who said I would sing in my garage band when I was like 13, but I had a, a very unpleasant voice, very nasal, and it's just been, yeah, a battle ever since to sort of turn it into something halfway uh, decent. But there was certainly no natural proclivity for it whatsoever. Well, I, did, I was partial to a, a bit of the old busking back in the day, outside um, Countdown, saving up for, for ciggies. <laughs> Yuck. It would have been in London somewhere. It was good. It was quite, quite uh, actually cliche band moment. It was good. We were all like, hey, turn it up, man. Hey. They let you have like a guitar tech, and we, it was the first, which is really exciting. But we're also really pretentious, so um, all of the song had like all of these different guitar tunings, all these really sort of needlessly um, eccentric guitar tunings. Uh, so we gave the guitars to this guitar tech, just thinking we were like the coolest. And he was like a year older than us or something. So needless to say, just f fucked it up completely. So we just went on stage and everything was out of tune. Um, but rather than do the, you know, the sensible thing and just sort of take a minute, retune, compose ourselves, we just decided to uh, plow on through it. And I remember uh, one of the judges was King Capizzi and I, they all had to write something at the end. And he wrote something very, uh, very nice, um, considering, you know, like something along the lines of shit happens, you've got a nice voice. <laughs> Oh, well, I know this is, I uh, got this guitar uh, a couple of years ago and uh, I love it. It has this smell. It's like made out of the of rosewood of a church door, the back of it, this old church door somewhere in southern Spain. Whenever you open it, it just smells amazing. And it sounds so beautiful. I love it. Without a doubt, Diana Ross. She ticks off a few of the first, I'd say, first show, um, first uh, like celebrity crush, first person I wanted to be like. She had this sort of um, fragility, this sort of, there's a sort of bruised quality to her voice or something, sing it while singing these kind of, you know, pop bangers. There was this sort of wounded quality to her. I remember really, sort of attaching to as a kid as well. And then she was on the Muppets, and so that was it. <laughs> Love forever. 